Okay, so BLAST is a very general purpose program, um, but sometimes we have very specialized sequence alignment needs, and um, there's, more, there's programs that are better suited for those needs. So the first um, situation that we're going to talk about is aligning EST and cDNA sequences. So the reason that we may want to use a more specialized program for this is that with, with these sequences, we're going to have large gra gaps due to the introns that uh, may score very lowly um, or come as two hits, and, and we don't want that. We want to see the, the whole alignment for our EST. So Exonerate is um, a generic tool for pairwise sequence comparison. Um, this comes grid ready with the ability to chunk files directly through Exonerate. Um, and if I haven't mentioned this, I should say this next section is going to be all command line based. And um, so I apologize for those who are familiar with how to use the command line, but I highly suggest um, learning it if you want to do more uh, sequence alignments on a larger scale like this. Okay. So Exonerate can be run in many different models for gapped and ungapped alignments. Today we're going to talk about two specifically, the EST to genome and um, the cDNA to genome, although this is um, definitely not all the modules that can, or models that can be used with in Exonerate, they're the two that we'll talk about today. Um, so if you would like to see additional models that are um, available through Exonerate, you can either go to the man page that's online at this URL here, or um, from the command line you can use the dash H option to see all of the possible models. All right, so an example of how you'd run Exonerate from the command line, you first type the program name, and you're going to want to use this query here, and whatever your um, multifaceted sequence file name is, we go here. We want to specify that our query type is DNA. Then we're going to uh, give it information about our target sequence, and this can again be multiple sequences. So we have a multifaceted file with all of our genome sequence. And then um, we want to tell it again what type of uh, molecules there are in here, so these are DNA. We're going to specify that we wanted to search um, using the EST to genome model, which is um, specific for searching ESTs, and um, the parameters are specific to that. Um, we don't want it to show us alignments. If you, want it, if you want to see the specific alignments, you can put yes here, but if we're searching a lot, maybe we just want to get a table. Um, show vulgar is another type of alignment, so we're going to say no to that also. Um, GFF is a common file format in informatics, but um, we're going to say no to that, and then we can say use this RIO, and we can specify which um, columns we want in the output in a tab delimited format. Um, so there's many more columns that can be specified than just this, but what this tells us is I would like you to print the query ID and then a tab, and then print the target ID and a tab, print the query start position, the query stop position, the target start, and the target stop for each of the alignments. And we also need to tell this program what is our estimated minimum and maximum intron size so that it knows what's in a reasonable alignment. And then we give it um, a path to where we want to export it. So like I said, this is going to come out as a tab delimited file. But one thing that you should note is that this output is going to come in inner base coordinates. If you use the GFF format, which we turned off, it won't be an inner base, but all of their outputs from Exonerate will. And what this means is, instead of this being 1, 2, 3, 4 for the ACGT, this alignment is actually from, from position 0 to position 4 rather than 1 to 4. This is what the inner base coordinates are. So this is something you should know within Exonerate. Um, it's different in that output. So if you would like to see a complete list of the options, again, that's available on the man page, or um, by using the dash H option that I mentioned before. 